<clears throat> Hi everybody. It's Anika. It's been a long time since I've done a video, but hopefully I'll be back on track with regular videos for my YouTube channel and to participate in all that's crafty on YouTube. I've enjoyed watching a lot of videos and sometimes have gone into like uh video trance just watching everybody's great work and the drama that um actually exists on YouTube is pretty um funny. And not so much when we talk about um Pocono Pam and, and, and the etiquette of the swaps and all that kind of stuff so but hopefully um people will uh, treat folks like they want to be treated. How about that? The same thing I teach my um, kindergartners and first graders. So anyway, um, let's see. I wanted to share. I was on YouTube, of course, today and listening to who was it? Logan's Crafty Mama, and she said that there was a um, a challenge by Scotia. Scotia, I can't remember the last numbers on there. I will link her down in the in the notes section on the, on the video. But she had a use what's on your desk challenge, and that's why I'm actually um, doing this video with my desk in disarray. So let me show you my desk real quick. Hold on. Here it is. It's in complete and utter disarray. So, um, and we can only use what was on our desk, I think, give or take, if you wanted to use your, um, big shot or something like that. But for the most part, you had to use what was on your desk. So the card that I made is this one. And I used, it was a paper pack this paper pack that was on my desk that um I think I'm, I'm pretty sure it's an, it's an old paper pack I um bought it like for two dollars off of an old friend who was selling some of her scrapbook supplies so that was just sitting here and then I had um the paper this is from Paper Tray Inc that pack of paper was sitting on my desk and of course the buttons are located on my desk at the top so um that's what I used to make this and the stamps were on my top of my desk as well from the stamp set. The stamp set here from Hero Arts. It's the um little name on here. I don't remember where they keep having done. Oh, it's called Friends. Oh, okay. It says thanks for being my friend. So I did that. And of course my uh white gel pen is on my desk too for the stitching that went around there. So that's what I did for um, the challenge of use what's on your desk. I also was watching uh, Whimsical Wendy, and she did an awesome video tutorial with the silhouette. Um, you know, a while back, Erica and I... Um, She's Naya's mommy on YouTube. She hasn't done any videos yet, but Naya's mommy on YouTube. Um, we bought our silhouettes, and we were so excited, and when we got them home, um, they just looked, I guess, a little, we were a little intimidated because it wasn't as easy as um, the cricket, per se. So once you get to um, learning it, you know, then you kind of can appreciate um, all that's magic. So, um, I was watching Whimsical Wendy, and she did a card, and first she showed you how to piece it together on your silhouette, on the mat that's on the screen, and she also showed you how to separate the images, like on the silhouette, in the silhouette store, you can buy like a group of hearts, but I didn't know how to use them because I didn't know, I didn't know whether or not they could be separated. But she showed you how to isolate just one of those. So that was great. And then how to align them and all this all this stuff. So it was really very informative. Thank you very much, Wimsy Quindy. It was quite 
an awesome video. I should favor. I need to favor that video too, so I don't lose it. So, um, I want to show you her car, but the silhouette is just like awesome. I mean, the cuts on it are just so. I don't know if you can you can see this. How crisp the cuts are on the silhouette. I know. Kay Warner did a video once comparing the silhouette to the Cricut, and the cuts are just, just amazing. They're very crisp. It's hot. Anyway, I did this card, and I'm just gonna, you know, show you my card. I don't think I don't particularly care for it because the lettering I thought was very thin. It's very thin. So, which means I had I used my Sig 2A glue, and if I had like um, spray adhesive, I probably would have done spray adhesive. This is good, but I don't like when this seeps out from under whatever you're sticking down, and it gets that little film around it. Kind of looks like snot. That's not nice, but that's what it looks like to me. So um, I don't like that. And of course, it's on my card, so I really don't particularly care for. But let me show you my card. And here it is. And one of the things that was very difficult was trying to line up all the letters. So it's kind of off. And then it, I don't know if you can see how the glue is seeping out from under the letters. So I don't really particularly care for that. But all except for the background brown right here, everything else was cut using the silhouette and you actually she actually shows you how to take um the rectangle the shape of the card the a2 card and put that down first so now everything that you make gets sized into this shape right here so you don't have to worry about the circle being too big and not fit on the card she shows you how to um cut off because it's a round circle at first so she showed you how to cut off half or this this portion of the card right here and how to um, make it so you have the top brown star and the red star and they are exactly you know proportioned apart and then she actually has four stars I couldn't figure out how to um, get them smaller on there but it will align it up so you know that all the stars will fit on this strip so it's really um, awesome. And hold on, let me show. Let me see if I can show you what's on um, the uh, on her. what it looks like when you finish putting it together before you print it out because you have to then, once you get it all hooked on there, I'm assuming, because she didn't show you that part, that once you get it all hooked on there and you have it looking like you want it to look, then you have to move it back out and separate it in order to print it off. So I just want to show you, if I can, um, what it looks like before Okay, you printed it. So here's my finished card. And I just want to show you what um, it looks like on my computer screen. Oh, you can't see what I'm going to see. Can you see that? So that's how it looks on the screen. And then you separate it out to cut it. So anyway, I thought it was... Hopefully nobody's dizzy. I thought it was actually awesome, and I was really impressed with myself that I could actually um, do an entire card off of the silhouette and not have to go through different um, machines or use your Cricut for this and then the Big Shot for that. It just all printed off. So it's, it's actually quite awesome. So anyway, that's what I did with that. I also did that. I also have like a small haul. I ordered just a few things off of two peas in a bucket. 
And one of them was this stamp set from Lawn Fawn. It's the Say Cheese stamp set. And one of the um, crafters that I follow is Nicole McGorick. She um, is a, um, a garden girl over at Two Peas. And then she happens to be like a guest designer for several websites, even for Lawn Fawn. But she has a lot of... I love her... Um, start to finish scrapbooking pages. So she did a really nice layout with the actual um, portrait that comes out. Remember these old fashion cameras and it comes out the, out the little slot right there? And she actually cut down her pictures, her two by two picture. It's really quite awesome. She's really good. So I bought this, but um, I want to get um, Photoshop, which I don't have yet. So we'll see what happens. I want to uh, create some pages with this. And um, I want to get into Copic so then I could put like images because a couple of the, um, I don't know the young lady's name who does the videos for Lawn Fawn because they have a channel on YouTube too. So she did some cute um, pictures inside the, on, on the frame part, the picture part of the, um, of the Polaroid. So it's really nice. So I got that. And I also got a couple of um, paper packs. Two from My Mind, My Mind's Eye and two from Jelly Bean Soup. So here's My Mind's Eye, and it's the Stella Rose Haiti Papers. And it's a 6x6. Six six. Let me show you that real quick. I really like the designs on here, but I like the designs when Nicole McGork did a page, um, a layout. So even though I like the designs, I like the, I think I like them better as a 12 by 12 page because you know they shrink the designs down for um, the 6 by 6. So these are really pretty, and I'm gonna make a couple cards from this. But I like, I think I'm gonna get at least the Haiti papers in the Stella Rose in the 12 by 12. Then I also got the my Stella Rose Mabel papers from my mind's eye, and I think the Stella Rose comes in four different patterns, paper packs. So here is the Mabel Stella Rose. I like that page right there. Look at the writing. See, I bet that's really nice, large. I got that. And then I got two from Jelly Bean Soup. So this one is the Spotted Owl. And this is the Dutch Mustard Soup. So that those my that's all I bought. Um, for that I can't wait till <laughs> I'm uh, doing a summer camp this year. So hopefully I'll be able to um, have some spending money to do some some serious craft shopping at the end of the summer. My um, treat for the end of the summer. So that's what we're working towards. Um, anyway, that is it. I also want to do a quick shout out to um, Queen Bee's Creations. I think her name is Angie. She did like a 30 minute challenge, um, I think Friday or Saturday. Friday or Saturday. And um, she called folks up and said, you know, you got 15 minutes to get some stuff together, 30 minutes to make a card, and then post your video. The next time you do that, hit me up. Um, uh, email me. Let me. I can't email you because we're not friends, but um, uh, we have to figure out how to exchange. I'm on Skype, you know, whatever, so we can, so I can get on the, on the challenge, too. I thought you guys had a lot of fun showing what you did, finish, and um, and then I think um, one of the girls, actually, after the 30 minutes was over, she showed what she completed, and then she went back 
and added all the extras to it, which is really cute. So, anyway, it is 11.16 here, so I'm going to load my video up to YouTube, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.